Yeah, so you all fall for that. Good morning, my name is Louie. I'm with the SUNY Colbus Guild Ducks Unlimited chapter. This morning we're in the Finger Lakes hunting big water for some ducks and geese. It's a little bit less windy than we were like, but hopefully we can still decoy some in. This is our good old trusty field mallard, Gerald. He's with us on every hunt on the shore. If he's not out, we don't shoot ducks. And he's just always been with us. Good old trusty Gerald to keep us. Hopefully get one so we don't get skunked today. Keeps the ducks flying. You can't say that, dude. You yeah. can't talk about All right, redo it. <laughs> So we had a little single, uh, swim right into the decoys, noticed him about 15 yards away, and then uh, just put him down. and Kept yelling and yelling, trying yep, to get him to fly, but it's a ruddy duck, so, so they, they're yep. not known to fly, so. But we didn't get skunked today, so that's uh, a... Yeah, first bird of the morning. First bird of the We're morning. We're hoping it picks up here once the sun crests over the horizon. Yeah. Uh, hopefully see some big ducks flying here soon. Pretty clear. Congratulations. So we're calling the morning hunt today. We had a couple divers work, but couldn't get a shot off at them. We ended up with one duck, a nice little ruddy duck. And we're gonna start picking up the decoys and then get some breakfast in us, head back to the camp, and then go scout some fields for tonight, try to get some geese and hopefully some field mallards and other big ducks in the field. So you might have seen us putting this contraption out this morning. This is our homemade spinning wing floating setup. Uh, we came up with this because the water here and the shore is all bedrock shale, so we can't get the poles to stick in good. And we got tired of having to go out and pick them up every 10 minutes. So we took the standard, for us the Lucky Duck, we've done it with our Mojo Pulse 2. And we have two crabbing buoys here that I spray painted brown. This one's worn off a lot. And then a Folgers a coffee container filled with cement hooked onto it and then it has a string running up to the T to hold it at the bottom as a counterweight. And then we have this uh, lead cup on a string hooked to the bottom, almost like a Texas rig setup. So that way we can throw it out in deeper water and it floats and just like any other floating mojo, but it was a little bit easier to do in the moment. And it's worked really well for us when it's wavy out, it has lifelike action, it bobs up and down and moves either direction. Not at that? Yeah, so we took paracord, run it through, we ran it through the middle where the pole goes through, looped it around, and then we run it up around the T-post to hold it right at the bottom of the pole so it's a counterweight. And then for like the actual weight that sits on bottom, we have it just above it so it won't slide off. 
and then we have it so we can do longer distances too if we need to so we just switch it out with different ropes we have but this works really well late season for throwing it on the diver line because we can get it to sit right in it and then one of our other mojos we are, i'm trying to build another one for it. i'm just getting the buoys for it this year and so that way we don't have to worry about them tipping over with the rocky bottom here Yeah, so do you want to, when Maddox gets here, I think we should go out and brush them in now. Okay. What time do you think they'll come back? Uh, Probably not till 4 if they left this late. What? 3 or 4. Alright. So this evening we're doing a field goose hunt in a chopped cornfield. The last three or four days, uh, a couple hundred geese have been dropping in here about two hours before sunset, and then about 30 minutes before sunset, we've been getting some big field ducks. So we're running a fairly large spread today. We've got uh, about six dozen, six or seven dozen silos out. We've got some full bodies spread out in between. Um, we we're lucky enough we don't have a whole lot of wind uh, this evening. Uh, it could be a double-edged sword. We'll have to see how the birds like it, but we're, we just, we're running a big U just kind of make a nice funnel right to the blinds here. Um, directly out front, we've got some field mallards. We have our mojo and uh, flock flickers out there. Um, just before uh, the end of legal shooting light, we've been seeing some mallards dump into here um, with the geese. So we're hoping that's a little bit of bonus, but um, it's looking really good. Uh, we're running, running real wide, trying to make ourselves look big. There's been four or 500 geese dumping in here. So we're really optimistic. We're gonna get these pigs real quick. Kill him! Hold on, hold on. Come around. I don't know how I didn't just shoot, jump shoot that one. Drop that one. Nice. Oh, Good go. shot. Well, I'm we got we got these two out here looking like they're gonna drop. That one's dropping in the alfalfa right there. Right there. You, Greasy pidge feed. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 nice shot. Look at the feathers suspended in the I didn't know that right thing turned on me. I thought it was flying away in there. They were going like, to dump right in. That was good. Any bands? I told you those black flickers were great for pigeons. That was amazing. Did I turn the mojo on? They they cupped right up over top of the ducks. That was awesome. Shoot these over top? No. Shit. You didn't want to shoot those? He's coming in. Get ready. Get ready. Ready? Take off. I got right at us, way left, like 11 o'clock. All right, got it. Flag down. Let him land. Let him land. Let him land, and if they start to fly, call it. Yep.
up, shoot him. Are there birds on the ground? Yeah, two on our right. Let's kill the birds on the ground. Kill the two. Where the boys? They flew off. You boys said they were over there. No, there was two there and one here. All right, next time we have five on the ground like that, I'm going to say call it because I can't call for we that long. Five on the no, we had three, I thought. I we saw had one. three over there or two over there? I didn't know the three there. I only knew the one. I asked you if you The one I will admit that was the one I was going to say. Four feet hanging. Yeah. Did somebody call it? No. We all have call in our mouths. So we have about an hour left of shooting light at this point. We're having lots of birds work us. We've probably seen close to a thousand geese on this hunt. Um, they're working us real hard, circling, circling. They're, they don't really want to commit a whole lot. Um, we've had a couple of small flocks commit, a couple of big ones trying to. Um, we're not doing too bad right now. We've, we've shot a few. Uh, we're making good shots, dropping geese. Um, we had a flock of mallards work us about 10 minutes ago. Um, they've pulled right over, didn't have the mojo out or going. Um, it's golden hour now though, so we're gonna get back down on the blinds and this is gonna be it, it's gonna get good here.
think this path is it. This swing they're gonna drop in, I think. Those geese are going back. Oh! Nope. <laughs> yep, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I call it. Kill it! We're done. We're done. Won't even have time Wait, for why is it to work. We're done. Why is it going up? <laughs> But the way birds are working, we need about 30 minutes before we have another shot. Yeah. Well, here we are, end of shooting light. Uh, just concluded our hunt. We have uh, six geese, seven. five pigeons. Seven geese. <laughs> seven geese, five <laughs> pigeons. Um, we had a lot of birds give us looks today. So we had a lot in the air. Um, not everything wanted to work. It was. Uh, we did a lot of calling, circled a lot of birds for a long time. Uh, it was very, very rewarding hunt. Uh, very definitely put us in our place. Uh, great time with everyone. We all we all shot really well today. Um, saw a lot of birds. It was really fun. Yeah, uh, it didn't it didn't work out entirely how we wanted it to, but it was a successful hunt. And we're all very happy about it. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you.